Gotten Cola. Hey everyone, Cotton here. So, as part of my overlooked slash underrated uh, movie series, I am going to be talking about one of the most underrated movies of 2016. There have been quite a few, but this is definitely the most underrated and one of the best, in my opinion, from 2016, and that is The Nice Guys. I am going to be reviewing The Nice Guys because one of the actors in The Nice Guys, Angori Rice, is the star of this movie that just came out this weekend it's called Every Day. And so I thought I thought that I'd talk about this movie well just because and also because that movie came out and Angori Rice is an extremely talented actress who is in that movie and in this as well. So yeah, let's talk about the nice guys. This movie is so so funny. It is so so incredibly funny. There is rarely a dull and not funny moment in this movie. So this so something else about this movie is that I, I say that it is underrated because this movie at the box office barely like recruit recuperated its budget. And that is a huge shame. Because this movie is so funny, so entertaining, and there is rarely, actually there is never a dull moment in this movie. The whole movie is so intriguing and well written and interesting. Uh, it's, first of all, technically it's great in every way. Uh, cinematography, editing, costumes, production design. This movie takes place in the 70s, so there's going to be some really colorful costumes and sets. It's all really good. The actors, Ryan Gosling, he plays this detective who lost his wife a while back and he's really good and Gory Rice plays his daughter she's really good Russell Crowe plays this kind of tough PI and uh, and I'm, I think and he's really good as well I don't really want to say that much about the plot because just like with every other movie I try to go into th uh, the movie as blind as possible and I want you guys to go into this movie with knowing as little as possible. So all I'm going to say is that this movie takes place in the 70s and this porn star dies. And Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe get involved in this big conspiracy involving this porn star and this whole secret evil government thing. And so Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe's characters, who are kind of complete opposites, both in terms of physicality and personality, they have to team up. And uh, of course, their uh, Ryan Gosling's daughter and Gory Rice is involved in some ways, or at least she tries to get involved, even though he doesn't want her to get involved. So, like I said before, all the actors do a great job. This movie also introduced me to Matt Bomer. Um, Matt Bo as a, if you guys don't remember from my review of that HBO film, The Normal Heart. Matt, I mentioned this actor named Matt Bomer, who is also who is also in the Magnificent Seven remake with Denzel Washington, at that Amazon show, The Last Tycoon, and he is a really good actor. And in this movie, he plays this super professional and suave hitman, and he has very limited screen time in the movie, but he's really good as well. Like I said before, this movie is so funny, and it's also really intriguing. The whole mystery about what happens with this porn star and the whole circumstances behind her sort of murder and this whole government conspiracy is all really intriguing. And honestly, like I could go on about this movie for hours, but of course I'm not going to do that because I know that none of you want to see a really long movie that's hours long. So that, what else? The only other thing I'm going to say about this movie is that I was never bored once. It is super funny, super intriguing, super entertaining, and absolutely incredible in every way. I'm going to give The Nice Guys a perfect 10 out of 10.